Okay, we have our basic equipment for the Jameco transformer kit here. Got our wires. We have our tool set. I personally recommend the gas tools versus the electrical ones. We have our various kits set up here. These are all the things that you'll need versus some electrical tape and a bit of solder. Now we're going to be using three different wires here. Two of them will be a different gauge. We've got our ferrite core in this box. Now in order to use this, first thing you're going to need to do is to strip the wire's end. The enamel needs to be taken off. Simply scrape the end of the wire off with a pair of scissors. Curling the wire will allow it to be soldered on easier. So curl the piece that you have and simply slip it over the end pin or whichever pin you happen to choose. Solder the pin on. Now winding the primary is the number of turns on the primary core are proportionate to the number of turns on the secondary. Increasing the number of turns on the secondary increases voltage. Decreasing them increases ampage in proportion to the primary core. Simply repeat the process for stripping wire once you have completed the turns on the primary. Wrapping the pin with the wire and simply soldering it on. In this part we're going to be using a higher gauge wire for the secondary as the purpose is to show increasing ampage. Simply strip the wire as you would for a smaller gauge and then input it into the pin. Once you have it in the slot, wrap it around just as the smaller gauge would. The process is identical. Another method for soldering is to pre-wrap the solder around the pin and then solder it on. Since we're increasing the ampage, a smaller number of turns are created for the secondary. The wire is then brought through the ending slot, stripped, and then soldered to the pin. This process can be repeated any number of times for the number of transformer cores you'll need. After this, simply insert the ferrite core. This allows for a more even distribution of the magnetic field. Wrap that with electrical tape to keep it in place. And there's the finished product.